Welcome back. The next layer we are going to cover is the Android framework, also called the Java API framework. So if we go to the complete picture, you can see it's the second top layer. So the top layer are the system apps or the custom apps. And to build those apps, you can basically use building blocks, which are the Java APIs. There are different type of APIs you can use or categories. There are, for example, content providers. Content providers enable apps to access data from other apps, such as the context apps, and also can be used to share your own data. Then there is the view system. The view system can be used to create different user interface uh, components, such as text boxes, buttons, grids, and all kinds of other user interface components. And then next, there are also different managers. So for example, the notification manager you can use to push notifications on the device next to the app you are building. Also the location manager to handle the location and the activity manager, which handles the application lifecycle. So the activity manager we will also uh, use in the next uh, labs or app use maybe for further abilities. But that's also one of the important components of the API framework. Yeah. For vulnerabilities, there are not that much vulnerabilities if you search for the Java API framework. There is only one I found for the web view in the, of 2014, but also a lot of vulnerabilities yeah, could be a result of misconfiguration. But for now, we will just move on with the next layer, which is the most top layer, the application layer. So as you can saw already, the apps could be the system apps but of course, it could also be an app you develop yourself or within your company, which is developed by your team. And apps could be developed in Java or Kotlin. Kotlin is also used a lot nowadays. And if you finish an app, you can package it as an APK, APK file, which is basically a zip file which contains the compiled application code, so the bytecode, resources, such as configuration files, and also an Android manifest file, which contains, for example, the permissions your application needs or will ask the user to allow. So that's in short an explanation about the Android architecture. So let's move on with the next topic, which is Android security.